Good evening to you. A detective with the Fort Wayne Police Department is suing the agency for sexual harassment. She claims she's had to put up with sexist co-workers and vulgar things in the workplace. News Channel 15's Megan Royce has details in tonight's top story. So, Megan, how long did she say this has been going on? Heather, Detective Bridget Glazer claims she's been on the force for about 20 years now, and I guess all of it became a problem just in the past two years. Now, we must warn you that um, much of what's in this lawsuit may be offensive to some. The Fort Wayne Police Department is the focus of a federal lawsuit. For the past two years, Detective Bridget Glazer claims she and other females have been discriminated against and sexually harassed. In mid to late 2010, a male sergeant told Glazer he had a hard drive full of pornography and he pressured her to look at his collection. Glazer claims around a year ago, her direct supervisor brought a sex toy to work. For about six months, the sergeant and other male employees constantly used on nearly a daily basis the sex toy as a prop for sexually inappropriate jokes and comments in the office. They also used it to simulate sexual acts and positions. The sex toy was also passed around and often placed on employees' chairs, desks, and work areas. Glazer also claims men in the office would call their co-workers, who were women, derogatory names. She talked with Chief Rusty York about her concerns in April before she filed the lawsuit. I feel personally that her concerns were investigated, addressed. Glazer says after the fact, the harassment continued. Chief York says Glazer works in the sex crimes unit. He says it's something she voluntarily signed up to do, knowing that she may have to deal with some disturbing items and materials. On a daily basis, the men and women who work in this unit are forced basically as a part of their duties to, to come in contact with some very disgusting and repugnant uh, literature, photographs, devices, evidence. Now, Chief York doesn't believe Glazer's complaint will stand in court, and she's asking that this harassment, discrimination, if it's going on, that it stops, and also that the police department pays for any emotional damages she may have had, as well as court costs. Okay, thank you, Megan.